Down at the village, they have an important job to do. It's Little Baddo in Essex, where Mr. Walter Warsop makes cricket bats for the famous. Now, making cricket bats is a job for a craftsmen, and one to keep in the family, too. That's Mr. Warsop's opinion, and he ought to know, because the Warsops have been making cricket bats for nearly a hundred years. Old Ben Warsop started the business near Lord's Cricket Ground way back in 1850, and now Mr. Walter and his assistants turn out 70 bats a week. Willow trees take 16 to 20 years to grow the correct size for cutting, and this one is just right. This is Mr. Warsop's own diamond jubilee of bat making. He's 74 now and still makes his bats by the skill of his hands, just the way his father taught him 60 years ago. Even cricket bat makers have their production worries. Handles are difficult to obtain. But if you send along the old handle, a new blade can easily be fitted. Jack Hobbs and Don Bradman hit their centuries with Mr. Warsop's handmade bats. Indeed, a test match, sir, just wouldn't be a test without one. <laughs> 